Oh, power. The chat. Green. Green. Good block. Let's go, Andrew. Go. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HDF, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail of the title, I am going to be playing Basketball Gods and winning Basketball Gods with Chad DF, Power DF, and of course myself. If you guys enjoy anything in this video, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video. If we get 10,000 likes on this video, I will post a boot camp version of this video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we're trying to hit 300,000 subscribers as soon as possible now as you guys know even though we've won basketball gods before on this channel we do get unlucky sometimes and we get a lot of error codes so today i decided to play it again now as you know the last time i won basketball gods i chose the hat and the shoes so right now i am missing the pants and the necklace so today we are going to be trying to win that so if you guys don't know what basketball gods is it's basically a four hour event and the top five teams with the highest win streaks at the end of the four hours get the basketball gods reward now if you do win you get to choose from two of these prizes that you see on your screen and it usually gets pretty intense considering basically if you lose even one game or lag out of even one game your streak is just pause you, you know you can't continue like it's over basically but anyways guys let's get straight into this banger man let's get Okay, y'all, so here we are, the start of Basketball Gods. As you can see in the top left, there is three hours and 52 minutes left. I accidentally get, didn't get to record the first game, but I have every other game recorded. So as you can see, we finished the first game in like, what, seven minutes? That's pretty good. But then we're going into the second game. We're playing two elites and a superstar two. So nothing too crazy, but this was our like second game on. So we were very rusty. As you can see, we're running a playmaking five, a perimeter lock, and an offensive threat. So I'm going to be sitting corner and guarding ball and then power and Chad are going to be running the pick and pop and pick and roll game. As you can see, we're starting off terrible. Chad can't make Bruh. a shot. Power setting an illegal screen. I mean, like it's still zero to zero, but look at powers wide open. He shoots a white, like literally nothing is going our way. We're super rusty. And then you can see me, I'm guarding ball like I will be for the whole entire event. Power gets a steal. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take the dunk because we need to put up some points. Two to zero. Our offense is looking very rusty. And these dudes are going to take their easy roll and dunk. Just like we have, we did a lot in this uh, event. I ain't going to lie. Power was, he had some comp slips in this event. I can't lie to you. Chad off the pick and pop. Kicks it to Power. Look at, we are just clamped. There's nothing open. We can't find anything to go. Power thankfully gets a hop step and gets us a bailout bucket at the end of the nope. shot clock. Right here, I get a clutch steal hop step i'm not gonna force nothing so i kick back out hey, chad yo, shoots a very questionable shot i mean everything is just looking bad hey, this dude home. pull up white <laughs> he made that are we serious like bro it was looking bad chad wide open shot misses like bro all of us are playing bad this dude gets a nice quick stop on the big greens like we're not playing defense. We're not hitting our open shots. We're getting clamped some open possessions. Look at another missed open shot. I didn't even crash for the board from the corner. These dudes get a pick and pop, shoots a white, and gets it to go. Like, oh my God, we cannot buy anything. Look at, look at the scoreboard. We're down 11 to four. Chad shoots another wide open shot. Thankfully, they give him a white because we were not greening anything. Right there, I don't get this steal, but this dude does get the layup. We're down 13 to 7 in game two of basketball gods. It's not looking good. Uh, even if we win this game, it's just not looking good. Chad with the quick stop green. Now we're down by just three after just being down six. Right here, we need to stop power with the good hedge defense. Pick and pop. He greens the 31% contested shot. Unbelievable. So we're like, okay, we're gonna take our twos. Power with the comp slip. We're gonna take our twos and trust our defense because these guys aren't even that good. We're just, we just gotta get stops. He shoots a very three. That definitely was not going in. Very questionable shot. We see power in the corner and okay, flex on him. Power, go crazy. 15 to 15. Just like that, we were just down six. Look at the comeback though. Wide open pick and pop. Oh boy, he's selling, selling. That boy is selling. Once again, power with a very good slip. Comment in the comment section if you're still watching this video. Power has comp slips because he was slipping very nice this entire event. And as you can see, I play good defense. I tell power LBRB, we get the easy dunk. It's 19 to 15, just like that. 
We were just down 13 to 7. This dude shoots another right and it goes in 19 to 18. At this point, we just have to end the game. Chad all the way. He's not going to get baited. Gets the layup and we secure the W. And now we are on a two game win streak. Now, this is e service just to clarify. And oh my God. We started to get into a groove. We started to get some easy games. We win that game 21 to 11. We're on a three game win streak. Now the crazy thing about basketball gods is consistency is huge. Now we played a lot of teams like this where like they're elite one, superstar threes, maybe elite twos, elite threes, but they're very good. Just because their rep is low doesn't mean they're bad. As you can see, they have a nice pick and pop game, pick and roll game. Just like us, we take the easy two down three to two. Now this dude was killing. Look at me just getting nailed by that screen. I'm not gonna lie, this center was setting some big bodies, y'all. And you're gonna see that in this game. We see power in the corner. What a crazy pass by Chad. Getting that dot to power. This dude's dribble glitching, and look at this, bro. Like, the screens. Look at how, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. This guard was going crazy. Look at that screen. Like, I can't even get through that. I have to go to the center. I have no stamina. He forces a lob and gets it to go because I don't have no stamina to go up and get that block. Once again, we're taking our twos. Power with the lay after the nice pump thing right there to get him the jump. This dude has no energy. Look it. I'm boxing him this possession. Five seconds on the shot clock. He gets me stuck on the center and then gets a green. That, that possession right there was so frustrating after playing defense for that long. We see power in the paint. He pump fakes. Once again, he's making this dude jump, and we're good to go. Look at, but y'all see this? Did you not just see how I came off that screen? I'm just getting nailed with these screens. The dude hits the mid range. Power with the dunk. And look at, we're only down two somehow. I ain't gonna lie. And look at the, dude, he was dribble glitching. I got a steal, and it doesn't give it to me. Like, are we serious? Right now, two seconds on the shot clock. They're so clamped. And you gotta be kidding me. Like, I, if, I feel like we're always clamping these dudes, and then at the last second, they score. Right here, once again, five seconds left. Boom, big green, but hold on. It was just a two. Now at this point in the party, I'm telling them, bro, I don't think we're gonna win this game. I don't think we're gonna win this game. After power hits the three, I'm like, okay, we still in it. 17 to 16, let's get a stop. As you can see, 14 seconds on the shot clock. He could have shot that, but he probably didn't have a lot of energy. I am just drained with energy right now. But look at, look at the defense. We here, we here. I see him coming out. Look at, I run out. The white, it's a wide open shot. He misses. And then look at me getting the clutch steal. We in them lanes. It's Revis Island out here. Revis Island, power all the way. Kicks it back out the shot. What? Oh my God, look at the patience by power right there. That was absolutely insane. This is a very clutch stop right here. I'm going to show you guys my live reaction to this, but Fucking dumbass. Good Let's go, Henry. Go, Henry. Let's go. Oh. Holy shit. As you can see, that game was totally intense. That block was so clutch. Oh my God, that was absolutely insane. We're on a four game win streak. And you know, now we start getting our bags. You know, we're starting to get some chemistry. Me, Chad, and Power, we're in the groove. You know what I'm saying? I'm not missing. Chad's not missing. Power's, you know, pump faking, getting nice slips. And it is really just looking good right now. Only four games into it. And we went from rusty to, you know, now we're cherry picking against dudes and beating them 21 to 2 because it's just so easy. Six game win streak. So, yeah, we're going crazy. But as you guys know, consistency is huge. I get the steal right here, 19 to 12. Not only do you have to continue to win in basketball, guys, but you have to continue to be fast as well. You can't just win. You have to win fast as well because the top five streaks win. You know what I'm saying? Nine to six. I get the green right here. I'm ice wing up top. And I'm just going to take the easy two. I, I, I see we have 19. We don't need to force a three. Let's just end the game 21 to 11. And now we're on an eight game win streak. Now, usually in East servers, people win with about, you know, 30 to 40 games. But right here, we're playing elite three and a legend. We get matched up with an elite three and a legend, okay? These dudes are running like three lockdowns. They're, they're, they're isolating. We're setting screens. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saying power don't help. And unfortunately, he helps right there. So I'm like, power, do not help for the rest of the game. I'm going to be able to guard this dude on the ISO. Chad with the questionable shot. Power gets the board, and he is going to pass fake and just secure his dunk. We're down 5-4. to four, And I'm like, yo, Chad, power, do not help me. I'm going to guard this dude ISO. And look at me with the clutch block. Come on, man. Call me LeBron James out here. You know what I'm saying? Power with another slip. We're just going to take our twos. If we take our twos, we're going to get stops on this ISO to the point where there's no way we don't win this game. You know what I'm saying? Chad can get his threes. I'm not going to let up a three. I'm telling Chad and Power. I'm like, I'm not letting up a three. As you can see, nope. I'm bumping this dude. I'm getting steals. I'm really playing that lockdown defense out here. 
power the slip. Look at that pass fake. Like, people underappreciate some of the small details. That pass fake making both of them jump on bottom in the corner. It's like that. But this dude comes back with a green three on the wing. We're up 14 to 12. Power with another good slip. 16 to 12. I'm just, I'm not giving up a three. I know this dude wants a three. He ends up taking the two. I don't know why they, you know, I guess they trust their defense. But their defense right here, their pick and roll game is just bad. You know, they're running three lockdowns, so they don't have the size to really guard that. This dude fiending for the three. I'm right there, though. I'm right there. At this point, it's game. You know, I'm going to ISO, get my bucket 20 to 14. And thank God I was guarding that defense or that ISO well. And I was not giving up no threes because we actually end up winning the game. And we go on to a nine-game win streak after beating that legend. Now, at this point, we're just about... You know, a little over an hour into the event, which is very good timing. Nine games in about an hour. That's pretty good. Chad greening threes left and right leads us to a 10-game win streak. So, look, at we're like one-third, one-fourth of the way there. If we keep going at this pace, we're going to win this event, okay? Like, we, we just can't lose. If we can't, if we don't lose and, don't, and games don't take, you know, crazy long, we're going to secure the bag and get the basketball gods to win. As you can see, we're on 11 game win streak, 18 to 9. Power to Chad. He's in takeover. Y'all already know. Takeover the game is over, man. I'm not going to lie. Me and Chad and Power, we're getting team takeover a lot. It's during basketball, guys. You see, I get the heavily contest. I'm just going to kick it down to Power. He's going to shoot the three in his eye. Okay. Okay, Power. Okay. I see you flexing on 13 game win streak. He's going to pass it up to me. I'm going to agree. I'm not, bro. When I tell you I was in my bag when I'm not missing, I'm telling you I was not missing. As you can see, Power is going to get the fast break jam. And now we are on a 14 game win streak. Okay. Chad with the fade mid 22 to 7. We're just blowing teams out left and right. We finally started to get the groove. Like I said, at like six games. And we finally started to play some teams that weren't the greatest. So what we were doing is just cherry picking once we had a decent lead. These dudes weren't that bad, but we end up winning 22 to 15. So now we have a 16 game win streak. As you see, power has taken over 18 to 15. This game was decently close, but obviously I don't know what their defense was on that last possession. 21 to 15, 17 game win streak. We are looking very consistent. We have power on the inbound steal. That was another thing. Those inbound steals right there are saving us a lot of time because, you know, even just one possession, cutting out one possession steals and ending the other team's offensive possessions fast, even if they score, is key because that's saving us a lot of time. Look at me just greening in this dude's eye with my lock. Look at Chad dots me in the corner. This dude's jumping at me. I don't care. I'm shooting that. 66 three-pointer or not. I'm going to shoot that 18 to four. As you can see, this is what we were doing. We're just letting these dudes shoot. It's 18 to four. Let's get the game over with. These dudes are shooting up. Hello. Like, look at them. They don't, it's a three on one and they don't know what they're doing. Power gets the board. He's going to try to throw it down. Active. Look at that's pretty smart. He activated playmaking and take. So I get the boost just to secure the green. You know what I'm saying? 19 game win streak. So yeah, we were trying to end games as fast as possible. Power playmaking and take over. He's going to hit me in the corner. Green. Look, we just 22 owed those dudes. <laughs> we just 22 owed them. Are, are we serious right now? We on a 20 game win streak. We are in our bag right now. Like at this point, we're not even thinking about, oh, we might lose. Like, no. We're just trying to end the game as fast. 21 to 8. We are absolutely going crazy. The only thing that can stop us is 2K. You know, they give us an error code or something. You see me on the wing. I'm shooting a white, but, it, you know, it, it's, it's green. It ain't green, but it's green, just like in 2K19. Going to the corner, big greens. I'm loving that green animation, by the way. The wave, that, that shit is low-key the best green animation. Y'all comment down below what's your favorite green animation in NBA 2K20. But look at me shooting from way downtown. Come on now. We on a 22-game win streak out here going crazy. Chad has takeover. He's going to go ahead, take this dude. Hesitation. Bop. Come on now. 23-game win streak like I'm MJ. Come on, man. As you can see, a lot of these games are like, we're up by 10 plus. And the reason for that is, you know, we would get our couple threes to start, get a couple stops, and then we just cherry pick and bait them and get in passing lanes. Getting in passing lane was just huge. That was ending a lot of these games a lot faster than usual. As you can see, I shoot the white 21 to 11. But I can't stress that enough, bro. The, the, the getting the games over with fast is just as important as winning. But you have to make sure you win. You don't want to, like get too worried about ending the game fast to the point where you lose the game like 
we were only cherry picking when we were up by like six plus and if it was like you know if it was a good team maybe eight plus um, but as you can see, we're on a 26 game win streak, absolutely destroying the, look at like, oh my god, bro, Chad was just quick stopping everybody out here, 27 game win streak, we're literally all in our bags, we're all getting takeover just about every game, as you can see, there's an hour and 14 left in the top left of your screen in this event, so right now, what are we on, a 27 game? We get matched up with an Elite 3 and a couple of his Superstar 3 friends. Now, these dudes weren't the greatest, but they were, like, really locked in. And I feel like we weren't that locked in in the beginning. As you can see, we're up 2-0. to zero. Chad's going to shoot the quick stop. 5-0. to zero. We're looking fine. We're not even worried about this game. I'm guarding the ISO. This dude really don't got no energy, so he's going to throw the lob. It was a good backdoor cut. You know, he called it out. It was pretty good. Power's in a step back. Green in his bag. Come on now. 8 to 2. We are looking great out here. Power the pick and pop. 11 to 4. Look at us. We're up by 7, right? Right now, we are up by 7. Look at the scoreboard. We're up by 7. Chad shoots a you know, contested 3. Power gets the board. He cases the layup. We're up 13 to 4. So we're up by 9. And then look at this. It gives me. It doesn't even give me the poke ball loose animation. I don't get the steal right there. Like, 2K looking a little sus right now. Then this dude shoots a 3. Misses. I mean, like, what could go wrong? We're up by nine points right now, mid-game. Chad doesn't have a lot of energy. Kicks it to power. Power at the pump fake. Goes up 15 to 4. We're literally up by 11. Up by 11 in a threes game. But this is when it started to get a little sus. Chad misses an open layup. They take a two. And just like that, they're on a 4-0 run. 15 to 8. Chad to power. Takes the layup. Okay, we up by nine. Then these dudes come back the other way. He greens a three. And now they're only down by six. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Power's got to put up some bullshit. I get the offense rebound. Shoot a wide open layup. And I missed. I don't know how I missed that. 2K. Oh, what's going on here? They're still only down by six. I don't know what I was doing right here. But this dude shoots a long three and hits the white. So now they only down three points. Chad shoots a fader. Thank God he made that because it was getting a little too close for comfort. 19 to 14. This dude has a wide open three and green. Look, they're down two. We were just up by 11. So we got to secure this. We cannot let this get to 19 and 19. And thankfully, Chad greens that mid-range. I'm not going to lie. That was good bait from that guy coming out of the wing. But we secure our 28-game win streak. We... You know what I'm saying? We have to push. Now we're like, okay, we can lose. You know what I'm saying? We can lose. So let's make sure we put our foot on the pedal and we don't let anybody get that close again. 29 game win streak. Look at us. Almost everybody got takeover. This dude, Chad, going crazy. 30 game win streak. So now Power's talking to us. He's like, okay, I'm going to start up a stream. And we're like, I don't know. Should you do that? We don't want, you know, what if somebody stream snipes us? What if it's bad luck? Because the last time he streamed Basketball Gods, you know, we got error coded on a high win streak, so we're like, oh, you know, whatever. But Power starts up his stream around this time. It's a 31-game win streak. These dudes are quitting out. This dude was going for a lane steal. That shit was pissing me off. I'm like, bro, it's 20 to 5, <laughs> and you going for a lane steal. Like, it's over, bro. Just, 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 just give up, bro. Come on now. I'm kicking it out to Power. You already know he's flexing on him. That is a 32? Is it a 32-game win streak? Yes, 32-game win streak. There's not much time left. As you can see, Chad gets the seal. That's clutch. Power shoots a three. Look at how. See, that the games are just ending faster because of those inbound steals. Like, those are super clutch. 33 game win streak. We're absolutely going crazy. Look at us. Old takeover. Chad with another lane steal. Like I said, those come up very clutch. I'm going to take the layup. 21 to 13. We, no, we're not coming close to losing after that one time. 34 game win streak. Now, there's enough time. Look at, we have 25 minutes left in the event. We're on a 34 game. Right now, we're about, you know, we're in second, first place, bouncing around there. And, you know, we're, we're, we're like, okay, we're probably going to need to play like two to five more games and we'll be good. 35 game win streak. As you can see, we're up 18 to four. Power is going to take his layup. These dudes, I mean, like I said, we we're just blowing out teams. We just have Chad sit in the paint and cherry pick. 22 to 4, and we are on a 30 cell. So anything happens where it disrupts your streak, your streak is pausing, and you know, you, had, you know, you just have to hope the best of luck. Six minutes left, we're in second place. But if fifth place finishes two games, we could lose. We could lose the tiebreaker, possibly. But as you can see, five seconds left, we're in third place still. We did get now, tiebreakers are based off rep. 
So we did get a lot of reps. His power is a playmaker. I have playmaking. Chad is playmaking his name. And we were getting a lot of assists and ball movement. So we did, thank God, secure the basketball gods rewards. I already have the Pharaoh hat. I already have unlimited boost. I already have a lot of VC. I already have the shoes. So I got the necklace and the gods pants. So yeah, we went crazy. Chad got his rewards too. But look, because power lagged out, he didn't get his rewards. So I need everybody to comment down below free power. I don't know why he didn't get his rewards. He's still trying to contact 2K to get his rewards because I think they just like, because he was an AI, they just didn't count him on our team because we finished the event with him as an AI. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on the video. If you guys want a video like this, but a boot camp version, I'm going to need 10,000 likes on this video to drop that and make sure to subscribe to the channel 300,000 subscribers on the way this is the second basketball gods video on the channel the second time i won look at that outfit that is going crazy we got the whole basketball gods outfit now uh comment down below what events you guys have won this year in nba 2k20 but anyways guys it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out of here y'all peace